Oh my gosh. I found alpaca! What's up, y'all? So, I made a vlog yesterday to release on my normal day to release, and um, something really unfortunate happened when I was editing. I had spent about, honestly, got nine or ten hours on this one vlog, and I lost it all. So, right now, I have a tire around my waist. <laughs> And I'm riding to go get uh, Kyle, who is so kindly letting me ride his motorcycle while mine is broken. Um, uh, I'm going to go get his back tire changed because his is sketchy and I'm a nice guy like that. So I've got it like around my waist and it's so scary. But it's not very far to ride. So... I'm not too worried about it. As, as you know, if you uh, if you saw that second video that I put up, the the one about the bike being damaged, um, my bike was wrecked about a week ago. Um, basically, what happened was the individual riding it uh, just the clutch slipped out of his hand and and he whiskey throttled it and it ground looped. The bike flew through the air, okay? And I was talking to uh, my buddy Street Bike Brad, um, and he said, man, wouldn't it be crazy if he really did wreck it? Then I turned to my left, and my bike was in the air. Way in the air. The guy who was riding it didn't get hurt all that bad. He, um, he broke his ankle and his foot. Um, the, this, the tensioner cap, the fork cap, uh, screw came down and impaled his foot actually through a pair of leather boots. So anybody that thinks a leather boot is a sufficient enough uh, safety gear item, is, it is not. You should get a real reinforced riding boot because these will just mess you up really bad. Uh, at, at the end of the day, uh, this wreck could have been a lot worse than what it was. When I got to the bike, uh, I looked at it and I said, oh, it's not that bad. And then I got the bike home, and the bike was destroyed. I mean, yeah, that's all I really want to talk about as far as the accident goes. I'm not going to harp on it that hard because, you know, I'll just move on with life. The bike will be back to, to normal soon. He'll be back to normal soon, and life goes on. I, I think that this is the place. Yeah, Adams. I've never been here. But I'm going to see what they say. I don't even know where I'm supposed to park. I'm just going to park up here. I don't know what they're going to tell me. I'm nervous. So that was really quick. I know that for you guys it was like no time, but... Um, for me it was even uh, it was even quick. It was only about... I don't know five minutes I was only here for a total of ten maybe that was crazy um, if you're ever around this area or if you're from here and you need some work done hit up Adams Motorsports those people are amazing um, I even got a soda for free she said can I grab you something to drink and I got a drink and wow I know that I will be going back there when I need my valves adjusted. That's for sure. <laughs> Try and break in that tire a little bit. So, I'm considering making uh, uh, spam cards, but I don't know if I'm going to yet because I, I like, to me it feels like I'm, I'm ripping Walter Riffick off. Like, that was his thing, you know? I need to ask permission to make spam cards. So, I think what I'm going to do is... Um, put my my top three favorite motovlogging channels on the back um, and kind of throw some love at my boys and girls because I like uh, I like uh, a girl on her bike I watch I like her vlogs they're good I, I, I gotta thank everybody that's actually watching my videos like I did not think that I was going to get a hundred views even. And I'm at almost 300 on that uh, that first vlog. That is unbelievable to me. 
you know that my, my channel goals are only to have a hundred a uh, hundred subscribers and a thousand views and after two videos I'm almost to my views goal that's unbelievable that's crazy to me so thanks for that I appreciate it don't forget to keep telling your friends about me and how hilarious and handsome I am get off your phone That's what I thought, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Don't you pick it up again. Oh my gosh. Are you off your phone again? Because driving is more important, right? Mm, wings. Food's like a gimme topic, man. I could talk about food forever. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful downtown Indianapolis. I was gay. This is downtown Indy. I don't know if I've been here in a vlog. I don't think I went last time because we were up north, but here it is. I'm sure that this shot isn't what it is in my eyes because it looks great in my eyes. He's wearing just all the top brands and safety gear. Tommy Hilfiger. Um, that looks like New Balance. What is that? Oh, he's taking off his watch because shit's about to go down. and Thornburg. I bet Barnes and Thornburg are douchebags. So this is Monument Circle. It's a um, Civil War memorial. And uh, it's basically the craziest traffic area in our entire city because even though it's just a roundabout, there's no lanes. Um, you can drive wherever you want as long as you're going the right direction. You can pass people, you can you can do anything that you want as long as you're going in the right direction. And so it creates utter chaos. Okay, now up here is our Columbia Club. Those bikers are nuts, man. You didn't see me at all. This is our Columbia Club. This is where all the rich people hang. Oh, look at that. What is that, a Lotus Elise? Oh, no, that's a Tesla. Dang, man. That was tight. There's their state building down there. There she is. And all of its downtown glory. What are you doing? Come on. That was certainly not a parking space for that car. But it was there. And uh, up ahead of me here is Conseco, which is our Pacers Stadium. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Damn it. See that scooter just overtake her? Oh, no. Oh, no. It's the cops. The cops. You want to see something funny? That's how we get places around her fast and furious. The guy's just waving. <laughs> waving guy. He doesn't even like, he's not even looking at anybody, he's just doing it. Alright guys, this is pretty much the end of our journey. The rest is just a really boring ride home on a straight highway. So, until next time, let's review. Do it with Dan's a dickhead. Oh gosh, the bike is going to be fine. The guy riding the bike is going to be fine. 
I'll be making spam cards, suburban delinquents, hilarious. Wall terrific, I'm ripping off your idea, don't hate me. And until next time, guys, peace.